Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Mrs Jennifer Buchan, a uh, celebrant uh, uh, of the Humanist Society of Scotland. Jennifer. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you to the presiding officer and to the members of our Scottish Parliament for this opportunity to speak to you today. 68 years ago this week, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly in Paris. It was the 10th of December 1948. The Declaration recognises that the inherent dignity and the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice and peace within our world. As a chaplain and as a parent and as a humanist, the two most significant words in that sentence are human family. As an entire race, each one of us has the, the right to lead a safe, dignified life, no matter who we are or where we have come from. When we are born, we are not born into a world of equality. And as a humanist, I believe that everything that can be done should be done to level the playing field. Each individual, no matter their sex, nationality, culture, language, colour, sexuality, those with a religious faith and those of us with none should be treated with kindness, tolerance and respect and encouraged to live useful and fulfilling lives. I was asked, why are you bringing up the Declaration of Human Rights on Tuesday? 68 years is not a significant anniversary, but the anniversary is not important. The Declaration is as a global society, we are going through a period of upheaval and change. And we've been told that the world in which we all live has entered a post-truth era. For reasonable and rational people, this is not reasonable or rational. And we must prioritise the truth. We must look to the document written following the realisation of the worst atrocities committed against mankind a document drafted by representatives with different and legal cultural backgrounds from all regions of our world. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights is not open to misinterpretation. And so perhaps before making any decisions that affect ourselves, our families, our communities and our planet, and to ensure that we are definitely doing the right thing, we should give it a read. Maybe we should take a few minutes to print it off and pin it above our desks and stick it on our fridges. Make it a document that we and our families are truly familiar with because we would take notice of it every day. Because maybe in a post-truth era, we should be looking at actual truth for us and for the whole of our human family. It is universally agreed that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is the foundation of freedom, justice and peace and we should all be familiar with every single word of it. 